Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Walk With Anxiety again. Today, we are going to talk about a very, very popular and common symptoms of anxiety. Um, and that is heart palpitation. If you have heart palpitations, you know, it's, it's basically about your heart is beating a lot faster and harder and in irregular beat um, when you have anxiety disorder. And as scary as it might seem to you, I just want to tell you that uh, heart palpitation is extremely common and extremely normal when you have an anxiety disorder. Um, assuming that you already have your heart checked out by your doctor. I had, I got my heart checked out by my doctors probably 10, 20 times, you know, like tons of medical bills because I didn't listen to people. I didn't believe what they were telling me um, that my heart was okay. So I kept going from one doctor to another, uh, one cardiologist to another you know, wasting all my time and money. Now that I'm recovered uh, fully from anxiety, looking back, um, I realized that what they were telling me was true, that anxiety can definitely cause heart palpitation. Um, it's very scary because it mimics a heart attack. It is very close to a heart attack, okay? Sometimes my heart beats so hard, guys. I mean, if I lay flat on the floor and put like a quarter or a dam on my chest, I can literally see that coin bouncing off my chest. That's how hard my heart was beating. And it would beat so fast, I, can, I couldn't even get a word out, you know, I couldn't even speak. I felt like my heart was beating off my throat, okay? And I tried to take deep breath, I tried to meditate when my heart was beating, just to try to slow it down, it didn't work, okay? The only thing that worked for me as I you know, been coaching a lot of people when you have an anxiety symptom, you just have to let it be. You know, a lot of people ask me like, what do I do when my heart's beating? What do I do when I have heart palpitation? Um, what do I do to control my negative thought of having a heart attack? What do I do not to call an ambulance, you know, not to go to the ER? Um, my answer to you guys is always to do nothing. It is extremely hard to do and I get it. It's easier said than done. Um, it's simple, but it's difficult, okay? You know, just, uh, just just by being simple doesn't mean it's easy. Okay, just like playing golf, you know, you hit the ball to the hole. It's simple, but it's very difficult. It's just like how to do nothing when you have an anxiety symptom, okay? But that is truly a way for you to retrain your brain to not react to your, to your symptoms. And, and by doing that, you train your brain to react appropriately or not to react inappropriately. So it stops sending out um, adrenalines and stress hormone into your bloodstream. So let me explain this to you guys. When the adrenaline is being released to your bloodstream, especially when you have an anxiety disorder, it does that in a very irregular manner. You know, it might come out of the blue. There's no reason. Your body just release adrenaline because you have to remember anxiety is not a disease, it's a disorder. So your organs are, might be out of order for now. So that's why it's releasing adrenaline for no reason. And when adrenaline is flowing in your blood and it hit your heart, your heart will beat faster as what a healthy heart is supposed to do. When it receives adrenaline or stress hormone or cortisone, um, it will react by beating faster and harder. So just by focusing on your heart, you're not gonna solve the problem. The problem here is how to stop your body from releasing adrenaline for no reason, okay? And it takes time, it takes time and effort and persistence and patience. You know, I almost gave up so many times. I actually gave up a few times, but I came back and continued my fight against anxiety. You know, the bottom line is, if you get checked out by your doctor, by cardiologist, and are told that your heart is healthy, there's nothing wrong with your heart you know you need to take a leap of faith and trust in that okay i i i wasted so much money and time guys because i didn't believe my doctor it was hard to believe you know um especially when it comes to your heart you know it's your it's just your survival you know we we are afraid of dying so that's why but trust me anxiety can cause that and it will get better your heart palpitation will still happen but the intensity and the length of every episode that you have will be less and less if you learn how to do nothing when it happens, okay? 
I'm sure that you survived so many heart attacks, okay, from your heart palpitation due to anxiety. And if you recall those attacks, your heart eventually slowed down because the adrenaline and the stress hormone is burned off, okay? So your heart is doing what it's supposed to do, relieve adrenaline, start pounding, adrenaline die out, it slows down. So now your job, next time when you have a heart palpitation or your heart skip a beat, you know, or it started to beat harder out of the blue, just take a moment and do nothing. When you do that successfully, guys, I promise you, not only that you can lose your fear of the heart palpitation, you will eventually lose the heart palpitation itself. Focusing treating your heart will not solve the problem. Okay? You need to change the way you react to those heart palpitations. Guys, next time try it, um, use, use my one minute method. Okay? Um, that every time you have any anxiety symptoms, either it's heart palpitation, it's dizziness, it's shortness of breath, before you react to it, before you do anything to it or about it, just give it one minute of doing nothing. Next time, try to do one minute and 10 seconds, and then one minute and 20 seconds, you will start to train yourself how to do nothing about an anxiety symptom. And I promise you, your one minute will become two, three, four, and five minutes. And once you can spend five minutes doing nothing when you have an anxiety symptom, you are 80% close to full recovery. I promise you that. Okay, let's start out with one minute, please. Your heart, you have heart palpitation, spend one minute of doing nothing and to totally surrender and give it up. Like, here we go, like, hit me. I give you one minute to do your worst. After one minute, you will feel empowered and say, you know what, I can do two minutes now. Let's do it. Your confidence will grow and your fear of anxiety will subside. And that is truly how you recover from anxiety and panic disorder. Okay, and I hope this video can help you in some way. And if you find it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Have a good day.